Hi everyone, it's Rohin from Virotech. How are you doing? So today I want to talk to you about antiviruses and firewalls. And I still find it amazing to this day that when I speak to small businesses uh, and I say to them, oh, what antivirus and firewall are you running? And I get the response, um, I'm not. And I still find that very, very concerning today. So that tends to be the, um, the first thing that people do when they get a new computer, antivirus and firewall. Okay, so for your business, you need to make sure that you do have an antivirus and firewall. All right, now there are hundreds, and I mean hundreds of products out there um, that do protect you, but they all have their own different features and benefits and upsells and whatever. So I made this video to try and help you. Okay, so there are three things that you should look for when buying an antivirus and firewall product. Number one, so you need to make sure that it does provide protection and it needs to provide protection, not just against uh, malware. So as a bare, bare minimum, it needs to protect against uh, viruses, worms, Trojan horses, spyware, etc. But it also needs to protect uh, against ransomware. Ransomware is very big these days and it needs to have some sort of ransomware protection as well. In addition to this, I would they should have an inbuilt firewall. Um, if it doesn't, I'd probably look at a different product. Number two, so with the product, it needs to be um, very light. And what I mean by that is that it shouldn't impact your system resources. Now I've come across a lot of antivirus products that actually impact um, system resources. So what I mean by that is that it slows your system down and it spins up your fans trying to keep it cool because it's just using the resources in the background and it takes you know a little bit longer to say open a web page or open an application or whatever it might be. So make sure that it it doesn't impact your system resources. Number three it needs to be easy to use. Straight out of the box, it needs to be easy to use. You shouldn't really have to do too much configuration to it. Um, you know, if, if you're tech savvy, you might, you know, um, customize it a little bit to your needs. But as a business, you don't really want to be dealing too much with that. You just want to be able to load it and away you go. Okay, so make sure that it is easy to use. Bonus tip, whichever product you do go for, make sure that it has comprehensive support. Now, a lot of the products they do, um, and they do have extensive help files, but do make sure that support is available if you get stuck. Now, the controversial bit, in my own opinion, top five um, products, brands, uh, to go for for your business, and this is in no particular order, Norton, Bitdefender, Kaspersky, Avast, and ESET. Now I'm sure my fellow uh, techies out there will have a different opinion, and I'd love to hear it. I'd love for you to put your comments down below and tell me which ones you have used, which ones you've had successes with, and which ones you've thought are crap, to be honest. Um, so please feel free to leave your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Uh, please um, leave a comment down below to the antivirus that you use and that you think is good, uh, that you've found very, very useful and protects you. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And thank you very much for watching.